Welcome to DIY RVing Home Camper's Life. My name is Greg. Today I'm just doing a quick review of the QWork battery monitor that we installed into our trailer this past winter. Uh, we've gone out camping a couple times so far this year, so we've had a chance to play with it and test it and see how we like it. Let's take a look at it real quick. I'll go out and show you the shunt, explain a little bit about that. And then after all that, I'll go ahead and give you my review of it. So currently, it's showing that we are uh, pulling in uh, just over a tenth of an amp of uh, solar. And that's because the battery is full. Let me bring you in. The battery is full. I just unplugged it, really. So we've got amp hours. You should see how the battery is going to a float position. So I'm going to go ahead and kick on my Renogy uh, 2000 watt inverter. And that way we'll start seeing a draw. And as you noticed, as soon as I did that, we start seeing a full. I'm going to go ahead and flip on. I'm sorry about the light. Uh, the light from the door is getting in the way. but So we're sitting about a half amp. Let's go ahead and just flip on some uh, different switches here. All right, so we're seeing how quick it is to uh, read the volt, the amps. And as you can see, I was just shutting stuff down, so it's showing that. Let's go ahead and shut it off. And all of a sudden now, we see a positive arrow going up. So we are now pulling in just over an amp and a quarter. It's dropping because we're, again, like I say, we're at that 100% mark. Our voltage is... 13.65. Now, if I was to just push and hold these two buttons, I can actually get this backlight to light up, but it kind of pulses as it's charging and kind of annoying, so I just make sure I just leave it off. Um, you can set uh, the amp hours of your battery so it can tell you exactly how much you have in your uh, um, batteries as far as uh, voltage and uh, amp hours remaining. So let's run outside and we'll take a look at um, the shunt itself, where it is, and um, how I've got it installed. Okay, so inside of our compartment up front, I have a uh, wall here with a door on it. And this is where all of my equipment, electrical equipment that I upgraded, is located at. Right back here where the light is, is the shunt. I'm going to drop the light a little bit. And off that shunt, there's going to be a small wire that does not come with the kit that'll run to a positive off of our fuse block right here um, and that'll allow uh, the shunt to communicate with the monitor which is inside the trailer then we have the communication wire that's run up to the monitor the mount and the shunt itself it's two large lugs uh, P Negative is all the negatives coming back to the battery from everything inside the trailer. The P, excuse me, the B negative, I don't know if you can see that right there. The B negative is going directly to the battery. So all negatives have to go through that. So all the current will go through that so you can get a proper reading. So for a basic battery monitor system I think it's pretty good I mean it's inexpensive now it doesn't have all the bells and whistles that a lot of the more expensive ones do but it's going to give you your basic information how many volts are in your battery how many amp hours are left and are you charging you discharging and how much of a rate are you charging or discharging at that's all I needed right now so for me I'm happy with the product and I would recommend it out if you like the video Please hit the like button, subscribe and share, and until the next one, you guys happy camping.